Cole, there will always be someone in this world worse off than you. A dreary and timid phrase my own father was particularly fond of uttering in times of hardship and misfortune. I wonder what my old man would say if he could see me now. A penniless gutter snipe resorting to beggary and pickpocketing just to be able to eat. One would think that a city the size of Etten would be more than capable of sustaining a man of my particular talents. But if recent events are anything to go by, I won't be getting my hopes up. The builders seem to have taken an unusual interest in Gatwick, Etten's infamous slum, and the place I regrettably call home. They roam the streets and appear to be rooting out skeptics and hauling anyone else they deem unlawful to Marlborough Prison for questioning. I've been keeping a low profile, but staying out of sight has become needlessly difficult. And then, just as I thought things couldn't get any worse, the Bulls seized the opportunity to prove me wrong. Just a few days ago, the City Watch announced a district-wide curfew, further inhibiting my ability to roam the streets at night. If only I had the means, I'd leave this wretched city behind as soon as humanly possible. I'm inclined to head south, perhaps even as far down as Bridgeport, as a fresh start. I need enough coin to pay for my journey, and even more to be able to pay rent once I eventually get there. A few days ago, while visiting my local watering hole, I couldn't help but overhear a couple of servants engaging in an extremely interesting conversation. It seems that Etten's mayor, Lord Zelmer, is hosting a lavish party at his estate this evening. Supposedly, a sizable portion of Etten's upper crust is on the guest list, and, if you can believe it, none other than Her Royal Majesty Queen Dittima will be paying Etten a visit as well. When it rains, it pours. I've managed to get a hold of a map, but getting inside is bound to be difficult. Zelmer is a notoriously paranoid individual who spends a large part of his wealth surrounding himself and his valuables with as many guards and servants as he possibly can. Then there's Captain Braxton, Zelmer's right-hand man, a decorated City Watch official with a ruthless reputation and an individual with whom I prefer to avoid bumping shoulders with tonight. One careless move, and I'll soon be stuck on the wrong side of a prison cell door. The servants at the tavern also spoke another name that I recognized. Mr. Relunt, a famous musician who left town several years back. A minstrel and skilled instrument carver. One of a kind. A beauty to behold, a local newspaper once wrote about one of his recent creations. A trophy too enticing to ignore, and one that I suspect will sell for a considerable sum of gold down in Bridgeport. Hello, and welcome back to the Dark Mod. This time, we will be playing Cole Hurst. Etten. Supposedly the first in a long line of missions. Don't know about the long line part, but... Here's to hoping. So, what do we have between these that's different? It looks like don't kill or knock anyone out unconscious. Yeah, we're gonna go with medium. But... It's the normal objectives that you'd think. Still, Roland's musical instrument, bag other valuables, 6,000 will buy me a comfortable carriage ride to Bridgeport. Don't kill anyone, wasn't gonna anyway. Head home once you have the instrument and the other valuables. Yeah. I'm sure this is gonna be simple when we're in the middle of a party. Hopefully it'll be right after the party dies. And hopefully there's a lot of drunk people asleep on the ground that I can just pickpocket. Something I'm rather good at. Let's go then, shall we? Okay. Am I starting at home or am I up in the attic of the manor? No, I'm starting at home, all right. Probably 
turn out the light since, you know, the bulls are out. Hey, I got my own home key. That'll help. Got my maps. Map of Etten itself. Good old Blackjack. Can't knock anybody out if I don't... There's somebody right there. Nobody told me there'd be somebody right there. Can I steal my own paintings? No. Can I at least pick locks? Well, that's good. And... I have a toilet. Do I clean my own toilet? I sure hope so. It's literally just a hole in the ground. I think I'll use my own damn home key. It's raining. Raining is always a good sign. Beginning of a job, isn't it? Oh, he's asleep. Well. How you doing, sir? Got any money on you, perhaps? No. He looks so peaceful. Yeah, I can definitely tell this is the thumbs. Even the lamp shot. Lamp shot? Lamp shop is falling apart. Do you mind moving along, sir? Something doth make a sound. Nothing doth make a sound. God damn. Builders. Come down here and bother all of us poor people. Is there a manor this close to the slums, really? Oh. Let's stay in the side streets as much. Well, that didn't take long. Did get us past that, though. How you doing? Oh, jeez. I didn't even realize that that person was in front. Ooh. I mean, it doesn't seem that hard to be around here at night. Not lucrative, but not hard. Somebody has picked my pocket. Something that make a sound. Shut up! Nobody's making a sound. Oh, dear lord. Oh boy. Well, it seems like we may be having some problems. Not that there's anything I can do about it, but it does seem so. Got a side entrance over there. And a, a candle on the outside? Hello? Having trouble there, madam? Will you stop that god awful racket? It's doing my head in. No one's allowed through. It says so on this sign right here. That's a piece of paper, not a sign. But... And besides, we're out of water, and I need to go fetch some more. It's raining, isn't it? Nonsense. There's a perfectly good well right over there. Why don't you just use that one? Uh, the water in there is crummy and no good for drinking. Ew. Everyone knows that. Well, that's not my problem. You'll just have to make do. Can't make do if you, you don't have already. water. No one's allowed through here. Captain's orders. But I... Enough! Jesus now Christ, just dude! Start listening and stop this dreadful cacophony of yours. Or I'll make sure Braxton hears about this. Fuck Braxton. Ugh. And fuck you. Ugh. I didn't have a key on him. Damn. So much easier if you had a key on him. I thought nobody was allowed on the streets. Okay, they didn't see me. Curfew! By order of Lord Mayor Zelma, a curfew is now under immediate effect for the citizens of Gatwick for the duration of Her Royal Majesty Queen de Montes, de Tima's cheer, visit to Etten. All residents are to remain in their sector and to stay home and indoors at all times. So that, why didn't he arrest her? Any individual found in violation of the curfew will be subjugated to rigorous questioning. Captain Braxton, the city, watch. Guess I better find another Damn. way around. 
Doesn't seem like I have a choice. I mean, I'd like to read this, but do you guys care if I'm in the light? Um, the light doesn't seem to work. A curfew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma'am, can I help you? I, it's an odd little alcove you've got right there. Is that where you put the buddies? Ma'am? Hi. There's an intruder. Intruder, I'm out in the middle of the street. You're breaking curfew as well, lady. How dare you? How dare you? Sewer? By sewer? I don't want to go. Why the hell? Why is there a blood fairy there? Should I pray to the blood fairy? Will it give me a boon of some sort? I don't know if I want it. Don't drink from the well. You'll just get sick. Hey. This is some shitty water. person just a random person not gonna steal from the poor what was that, sound? Uh, that was me sir just passing through the one who pickpocketed you earlier don't you remember oh wait you didn't see me a thief come to my aid brothers oh. You betrayed me, Mr. Rat. I want to take it so badly. And I think he's the one that tried to get me caught. Oh my. Yeah, all right. Wait, what's the... Ooh. What is making that racket? Ow, I am. Lady, you're getting in my way. Stop it. I'm just jumping here. Every man wants to jump. Uh. I thought I found a cool, a cool secret, but apparently I didn't. Okay, well, uh, I'm just gonna walk away from that and pretend I never done saw it. Okay. Looks like we don't have a choice. Damn, mushrooms always giving me away. Any rats gonna turn on me down here, huh? Damn rats. Gonna make you some tiny cement shoes. How you doing? Don't freak out, I won't freak out. Oh, Hi. No. Please, sir, I've done nothing wrong. I'm not gonna do nothing to you. What you doing? Hold on. You're not one of them, are you? Nope, not one of them. <sighs> I thought those Taffin builders had finally found me. Yeah, they're a pain in my ass as well. I don't usually get many visitors down here. Not really visiting down here. Besides the rats, of course. Yeah, they're assholes tonight. Well, don't let me keep you. Okay. There's another way out down there. Okay. I mean, I was gonna go down there anyway, but thanks for pointing the way. Enjoy your rats! Don't eat too I mean, don't talk to too many of them. Who- who- Who am I kidding? They're not good for eating or talking to. Sorry, I- I- I'm just bitter that I was betrayed. And now, magically, we're in the good part of town. <laughs> All right. Big iron doors. All right. Well, let's look at a map, shall we? Gatwick Square. That's where we just were. I'm guessing we're on Fleet Street. Okay, so it's not too big. It's not bad. <laughs> Zelmer's estate is fucking huge. And right by the poor part of town. Why can't I put this... Hello? I can't put it away. I had to push enter multiple times for that to go away. 
What the hell? Ah, so you're the asshole that won't let her through, huh? Stay in your sector. How do you know I'm not supposed to be in that sector already? Stay in your sector. You know what? You're a bit of an asshole. Very low on intelligence. I have a rope arrow. I do have a rope arrow. I don't know why I'd go up here, but... I'm gonna. Wow, there's... Um, I guess it's just an awning. That guy has a spear! Fuck that shit! I'm not messing with him! Well, they're using a lot of the idle animations that I haven't seen before. I like it. Well, if you want to get pickpocketed, come over here, man. I'm not coming over there. Ooh, newspaper. Yep. Oh, okay. I mean... Mm, I thought I heard something. Are you selling newspapers? Well, I have some money to buy some now for some odd reason. Don't need to, because I'm just going to read this one. Execution in Eton. Yesterday evening at around half nine, the Archbishop announced that one Mr. Grey Gobbler... Grey Glober? Gregalober, sure, has been sentenced to death following his confession to the murder of Lady Margaret Sheffield, wife of Sir George Sheffield, a re and respected proprietor of Itton Paper Mill Limited. His confession was attained by Inquisition of. Do you mind? I'm reading here. Respected proprietor, oh, no, I already read that. Inquisitor, inquisitors of Maribook Prison, following a lengthy investigative effort, according to a statement given by Captain Braxton, I'm sure. The Etten City Watch Precinct. Mr. Greglubber's, Gregobler, whatever, scheduled demise sustains a long list of executions carried out by the builders in Gatwick in recent months where they are lawfully persecuting crime and other misconduct, as reported by one Lieutenant Archibald of the City Watch, when asked to comment on the matter. Mr. Grey Glibber, or Grey Gobbler, will be brought before his peers and put to the guillotine tomorrow at noon near Gatwick Clock Tower, where he is to seek absolution for his crimes. I'm just reading the newspaper! Hey, you missed me. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> That's what happens when you read. Reading's bad, Mkai. Still wonder what the hell's up with that blood fairy. Frightening. Yep. I'll stay on the left since he's on the right. Hi. Where's his sword? Oh, it's a dagger. Gotcha. Ah, oh, you're fine, dude. Settle down. Settle down, man. You're fine. Hold on. I'm not holding on. I'm leaving. You can either crawl after me or you can sod off. And I do mean that. Sod off. There we go. Huh? What is up with this curfew? Is that a noise? No, there's no noise. Doors. There's that guy with the spear. Huh. It's rats. I've seen plenty of them today. I want to look down there, but I got these two guys over here. I don't know if I can get through. Because, you know, the light right there. I don't even know if there's anything over there. Okay. I have to find out. Yeah! I hate him. You're going to the gallows. There's arrows. Nothing in there. I hate doing. One second, just looking around. Yeah, it's like you. How in the hell? Maybe they'll go away eventually. If I don't look, they don't exist, right? That's how that works. There you are. Thank you. Nice halberd you got there. I thought it was a spear. It's a halberd. 
Are you peeing in the car? Oh, dude, come on! It's not the noise you have to worry about, it's about the person making the noise. Dear God. Hmm. Can you move, please? Like now, please? Thank you. A slip in between. It's nothing, don't worry about it. There was no noise. Could you move out of my way what once again? Nothing made any sound, you Let me get out of there before the halberd man shows up. What? Oh, I'm still in the dark. Which? Hi. Mm. Can I help you? Hmm? Damn. Now, are you gonna move or what? Huh, that's weird. There's a shadow underneath the lantern. Okay. You know what? I had enough of you. She's trying to be nice and just sneak right past you, but no. I had to get in my way. Never get in my way. She saw nothing. Don't you say anything, Mr. Horse. a carriage ride outside. Can I just steal the carriage and ride down by myself? That's what I would do. I may oh. have been playing too much Red Dead. What's that I see there? What do you mean see there? I'm not even in the light. How do you see anything? Oh, it's okay, buddy. Oh, oh, hello, beautiful lady. Don't mess with the horse. Old lady? Of course I'm not drunk. Drink not more? Not enough to make me see things anyway. What? Are you, what? You said it. Okay. Excuse me. You're talking to a horse, sir. Were you trying to hit on the horse? I don't blame it for shunning you. Some nice graves you got here. Ooh, there's a cup there. Problem is, this guy walking around is gonna see me. So, he takes a nap. Um, um, uh, what just happened there? See, this guy knocks out just fine. Is being drunk his superpower or something? There we go. I don't have to knock him out again. Try one more time. Come here, buddy. Give me that. Don't worry, I saved you from a horrible conversation, apparently. So bad you turned away. And your, your horse. Yep. Can I open up the windows? No. Can I ride the horse? No. Do I want to ride the horse? Yes. Yep. Do 
my scene. I can't get into the greenhouse? Wait. How? What? How does one get into the greenhouse when it's raised up here and then ground the... My brain hurts. That's, that's doing my brain in. I... Um, there's a spider in the garden. There's a spot. Ooh, this is cool. Spider in the garden. La 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 la. It's not how it goes? Not how it goes. Fair enough. Oh, I guess we can't go out to the pier. Alright, I should be able to grab this without him seeing. I take it that this is the good well, and I can't touch it. I'm not allowed to. Hmm. Well. Anybody leave anything in the carriage that I can take? Ah! Look, they don't really need it, right? To what? Thou art wise to fear me. What? How? What? Come with me, drunk one. He really doesn't talk like a nobleman, but he did have money, like a nobleman. Because the poor definitely don't have none. A single water arrow. They naturally form, you know. Shaft and all. Alright, well, next chance I get, I'm just gonna knock him out because that was kind of BF. This BS. Alright. So, you, sir, got my way. Therefore, you will now be unconscious. Ooh, somebody's got a key. Oh. And... Dump. I think I'm gonna open up the aside this time. They're very hard. It's very hard to get into these things. <laughs> well. Maybe he was just alerted because I had opened that door, which would be alarming. I'm not going to deny that. One person for the front door. Uh, ow, ow. Uh, that's it. You that is it. I agree. That, oh man. Something doesn't make a sound. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. And lay there and think of what you've done by annoying me. There we go. Damn it. It opened the... I... Mm. Grab that and that and... I'm good. Sat out over there. Anyways. Well, we've got a key we can get into and then possibly a way up. Interesting. I still want the key and that person to be unconscious. Not necessarily to help me break in. Just kind of like it that way. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boylag. Signing off. Yeah.
Oh god! Uh. Close the damn door, please! Oh god, it scared the crap out of me! I wasn't expecting that! Come in! I mean, don't come in! 